Hi everyone, today we're going to show you how to install steel mesh onto a deep corrugated roof. So the typical corrugated roofs out there are about 16 millimetres deep, but there's a wide variety of manufacturers who make deeper ones. They might be 22, 25, 35 millimetres deep. Um, there's obviously different sizes. This install method pretty much uses a slotting and a screw based install. So it's going to suit a wide variety of roof sheets. If you don't know if this is the right one for you, give us a call or have a look at our website and we'll show you what installation this suits or what different roof manufacturer's sheets this suits. So anyway, let's get onto it. The things you're going to need, drill, quarter inch nut setter and a pair of tin snips. So let's jump on and we'll show you how to do it. First of all, we're going to roll out our roll of mesh along this edge of roof. We're going to tack it in at the start and we're going to do that straight away here by putting on our gutter trim. So we've put a screw in the first position and then we're going to come and put a screw in the last position, making sure we're pressing that trim down to keep it nice and flat. And then we're going to come down and put any central screws in those center positions. That's going to hold it down nice and tight. Once you've done this, work your way along that edge of roof. Just butt each of the trims up next to each other. They don't have to overlap. Next, we're going to put a slit in the top of the mesh. You want it to be about 100 millimetres deep. You can either put just a straight slit or what's happening here is we've put a small V-notch. A slit is probably a little bit better because that's going to help us to keep the screws really high up on that corrugated ridge of the roof once we put the screws in. I'll show you what I mean in a second. The reason for putting these slits on the top of every corrugation is just to help that mesh conform a little bit more easily. You can see here what it looks like when we've put those slits in, or in this case, we've done some v notches. What we're going to do, we're going to press the mesh down in the gutter just a little bit. This is going to help the water to change directions as it's coming down the, uh, down the roof sheet. It's going to help the water fall into the gutter a little bit more effectively. It's also going to help the mesh just sit a little bit more nicely on the roof. Next, we're going to put a screw on either side of the corrugation where we've made those slits. Now you can see here, because we've put that V-notch, that screw sitting a little bit lower down on the corrugation, that's okay. Probably better is to just put a straight up slit, then that screw is going to sit a little bit higher up on that corrugation. It's always best practice to keep screws on the very top of those corrugations. You never want screws sitting in the pan, which is why we've got this technique. You can see there that we've also put the screw on the end of that V-notch as well, or the end of that slit. That's just going to help everything hold together nicely. It's going to keep the mesh really tight up against the edge of the roof sheet. So you can see here, we've finished the installation. It's looking pretty neat. Uh, and you can see here how it's a really flexible method and it suits a wide variety of different deep corrugations where we may not have a flashing for the roof side. So you can use this in a lot of applications. You might just have to tweak it a little bit depending on your particular corrugated roof you've got.